The championship final, the 200-yard IM. Caleb Dressel holds this of many NCAA records, though Destin Lasko of Cal did swim within six-tenths of that record this morning to win the prelims, a time of 138.71 for a guy who's known for a great backstroke. I think the record's going down. One of two guys have a, has a chance, so the odds are looking good because you've got two of them out there. So Destin Lasko at the top time. The two Foster brothers from Texas both qualified for the final as well. Carson Foster, just a sophomore, the Big 12 champ this year. Uh, Carson known for his gold medal at the 2019 World Championships in the 200 meter IM. Now looking for an NCAA championship. It is his brother, Jake Foster, his older brother, the 21-year-old on the outside in lane eight, looking to keep Texas on top of the team standings. And then we cannot sleep on Leon Marchand, the freshman for Arizona State, 19 years old out of Toulouse, France, finished sixth in the 400 IM in Tokyo and a contender in both IMs here, Rowdy. Well, you, you better look at him right now because during the race, you're never going to see him because he spends about 95% of the time underwater. <laughs> I'm joking, of course, but this guy is so good when he's underwater. He's really, really good above the water, but he's got incredible turns. And this is going to be a tale of two swimmers, one with a fabulous first 100 and one with a fabulous second 100. Marshawn in his first 100, Lasko and his back half. Marshawn, the Pac-12 champ this year, the 200 IM, the 400 IM. And don't sleep on his back half either because he was the Pac-12 champ in the 200 breaststroke this year. Again, Lesko outstanding in the backstroke. And for Cal, three swimmers in this final. Huge for them to stay in the thick of the team race. Two here for Texas, along with Lasko for Cal. They have Trenton Julian and Hugo Gonzalez. Julian, the Pac-12 champ in the 200 fly. Gonzalez, a two-time Spanish Olympian. One of the youngest members at the Olympics back in 2016. He had to be under 141 just to get here. Can you imagine? Jeez, oh man. Unbelievable. A lot of cow bears in here. Take your mark. A lot to look at here. A, a, a lot to peel your eyes to. But again, I like the middle of the pool. Carson Foster is that dark horse, no doubt about it, right there in lane number three. Does he have the speed in here? I'm not so sure. He's going to be fabulous in the 400 IM, but I don't know about the 200 IM. And you knew Luke Orlando, he was going to be out there. He'll be a, one of the favorites in the 200 fly. His butterfly is obviously great. Backstroke good, he doesn't have the back half. Yeah, the SEC champion Orlando was in the lead, heading to the backstroke. Good surge here from Marshawn. Look at that underwater, dude. Oh, oh my man. God. It, it really is a thing of beauty. And he is out at 45-7. He's ahead of Caleb Dressel's record pace right now. That was 46 foul flat. And I'm talking about Caleb Dressel. <laughs> And now we're seeing the breaststroke that won Marshawn at Pac-12 200-yard breast championship. Look who's hanging around, though. Orlando is still here. Luca Orlando in the second. Watch Lasko, though. Yeah, he's Watch coming. Lasko. He outsplit everybody in the field by a full second this morning. He's going to have to do that again to catch Marshawn. And Marshawn is still on the record pace right there. So Dressel's record in serious jeopardy. Leon Marshawn of ASU out in front. Lasko of Cal in second, 25 yards to go. Caleb Russell brought it home in 23-7. That's about what he needs to come home in. 35, 36, yes! Marshawn, oh. record time, 138. It's come and gone. How about 137-69 for Leon Marshawn to take the win? Oh, my goodness. And, and, and the king of the IM just had his record taken down by a half second by a 19-year-old freshman from France. And he can't believe it. Here's the breast of free turn right there. He came home in 23-5. How about Lasko? He gets second. 
in the fourth fastest time in history unofficially. Here's the last time. There's Lasko trying to catch him. Dude, I'm going to come home in 23-1. 23-1 he came home in. And he finished a second behind. Or a half second behind Marshawn. Oh, my goodness. I 137 in a 200 IM. So if you're scoring at home in four swimming events, we have three NCAA records in Leon Marchand. Took a little time to let that one sink in as he pops out of the pool now. Hey, give a tip of the cap to Luca Orlando, who got off to that great start. The SEC champ hung around for third, continuing Georgia's great start to this meet. Leon Marchand sets the third record of this meet, and now he's with Lara Overton. Leon, you took a minute there in the pool to let it all soak in. You got a couple of hugs from your teammate. What was going through your mind when you saw that you'd broken the record of Caleb Dressel, who's back there in attendance and had to watch that record fall? I mean, this is incredible. <laughs> I, I just have so much fun in this race. I know that I was in shape with this morning. But I didn't know I would be that fast, so. <laughs> you come from a family of Olympians. It was a punishing pace from the start. How significant is it to have your family here in the stands to see this NCAA victory? I'm so happy because they came from the other side of the planet. <laughs> so that's pretty cool that they're all here. They can see that, so that's nice. <laughs> what a special moment for you, for your family, for this program. Congratulations. Thank you. Well, his dad, Xavier, was a world silver medalist. If Leon Marchand keeps swimming like this, he may be a world gold medalist before he's done. He has his first NCAA championship.